Okay, and here we are in uh, still in 5.5 parallel and perpendicular lines. And so for this this example, we are asked to determine the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals negative 2 over 7 and uh, 7x and plus 3 and that also passes through uh, the point 14 and 9. So let's see how we go about solving this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to start with the uh, equation of a line just so, so that uh, we could have that out there uh, as a reference. So uh, equation of a line, in this case we're working with slope intercept form, so y equals mx plus b. There we go. So that is the, again, equation of a line. Hope you can read my handwriting. Okay, so there's my equation of a line. And so what we want is, well, we want it to be parallel to this line here. So y equals negative 2 over 7x plus 3. So for one thing, let's uh, let's rewrite that equation. And let's say y equals negative 2 over 7x plus 3. And just to note some of the properties of this equation, so our slope is going to be uh, right here, which is the coefficient of the x. So let's just write that down here. m equals negative 2 over 7. And in this case, our b is positive 3. So we want the equation of a line that is parallel to um, our equation here, uh, parallel to this line. So we know for one thing that um, the slope of the equation that we're looking for is uh, going to be the same as this line because when two lines have the same slope that means that they're parallel so we're going to say well the uh, slope and let's put a 2 here and maybe I'll put a 1 here just so that we can distinguish between the two so our second slope for our, uh, our, our slope for our second line is going to be uh, the same thing, 2 over, negative 2 over 7. And so if we, if we start to fill in our uh, equation, let's say, well, we have y2 for our second equation uh, equals, let's fill in what we know already, so the slope is going to be negative 2 over 7 x plus b. So now we have to figure out what b is. And to figure out what b is, well, we want to uh, substitute our values because we, we know that, uh, for one thing, we know it's slope and it also passes through the point. Let's just highlight that here. It passes through our point 14 and 9. So we know that our line that we're trying to determine the equation for passes through that point. So what we want to do is substitute in the 14 and 9 uh, coordinates there. So let's try doing that. So we're going to say our y is, I believe, uh, 9 and our x is 14. So, uh, 9 equals negative 2 over 7 times 14 plus b. There we go. So from this point forward, it's all a matter of uh, simplifying and then isolating for b. So let's see how far we can simplify this first. Equals uh, negative 2. These two cancel out. Well, this cancels out the 7 at least, and the 14 becomes a 2. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 
Whoa, what happened there? Let's hit pause for a second. All right, let's try that again. Uh, negative four plus B. Let's give ourselves a little bit more page to work with. And so we want to uh, isolate our B further, so we're going to add four to both sides plus four uh, plus four which equals 13 equals B. There we go. So now that we have B and we have our slope as well, well that should actually be B2 because it's our second equation. Just to clarify, we have enough for our equation of a line. So it's going to look like y equals negative 2 over 7 plus 13. And there we go. That is the answer to this uh, example.